Dylan McDermott is putting a new spin on showbiz history and a new meaning to the term service station in Ryan Murphy's latest Netflix series, Hollywood. Take a look. This town's all about dreams. And some of my customers don't just come here for gas. What's the password again? Dreamland. Dreamland. I want to go to Dreamland. You get in a car with them, have a drink maybe. You know, sometimes... <gasps> Sometimes you have to service. Please welcome from L.A., Dylan McDermott. Hey, Dylan, nice yeah. to see you. Nice to see you. I, I, thank you. Well, I hear you found the perfect quarantine partner in your dog, Otis, and you say it's the best relationship you've ever had. It truly is. Is that true? <laughs> yes. It's, I mean, you know, first of all, you know, the dogs, they don't hold any grudges, no resentments. They're always happy to see you. What relationship is like that? None. Well, Dylan, I love Leslie Jordan, and his quarantine musings on Instagram have become iconic. You're one of his favorite subjects. Why don't we take a look? Oh, and Dylan. Oh, my God, he's the king daddy ruler of the straight boys I love, Dylan McDermott. It is with great fanfare that I'd like to announce the formation of the Dylan McDermott fan club for middle-aged gay men. Is there a, is there a poster anywhere? No, the we one? need one. <laughs> there was one. <laughs> there was one where your shirt was kind of open, a picture yes. that we were considering. And I think that will probably be it. Are you enjoying the attention? I mean, I love this guy. You know, we did American Horror Story 1984 together. And now Ryan has just announced that he is developing a show for Leslie and I. And I couldn't be more thrilled. I think that's going to be a home run with he and I together. Uh, so I can't wait for that. With Leslie, Ryan, and myself, it's going to be so much fun. Well, Ryan Murphy also created your new Netflix show, Hollywood, which I am obsessed with. Hollywood's sort of this alternate history of the golden age of cinema in the 1940s, one that's much more inclusive, actually. Um, can you tell our viewers how so? How is it more inclusive? Well, really, it's a revisionist tale if women and gays and people of color will, were equal at that time. Uh, what would the world look like and what would it look like today? Because obviously we're not there yet. We're inching towards there. But I think that this is a, this is a hopeful tale. It's a revisionist tale. And I think that's the most beautiful thing about the show, you know, this idea of equality if it existed. Um, so, and, and on top of that, it's very entertaining. There's lots of laughs and sex and beautiful clothes, and it's entertainment, really. And I think we need a little bit of that right now in our lives because um, it seems so dire out there in the real world. That's for sure. So, Dylan, it's joy. First of all, before I talk about that wonderful show that you're in, I want to thank you for doing the reading of my wonderful play, Crisis in Queens, which but I just want to thank you publicly because you were so funny and so wonderful. And my only disappointment is that we won't be able to see you do it, really do it, this summer, which I was hoping you would. So, Joy, you are, thank you. You are such a great writer. Uh, I so enjoyed doing the reading. Um, we did it with Annabella Sciorra. Uh, and it was, I thought it went, I thought it went really, really well. And it was so funny and so entertaining. And I, I, hopefully one day we'll get to do the play. I hope so. I hope so. Now let's talk about your other project in Hollywood, which I, I enjoyed very much. I saw the whole series. Uh, you play Ernie, a gas station owner, turned pimp who who's better than that as a as a part my goodness did you base the character that you play on anybody in particular you know there is a man that it was loosely braced, based on called scotty bowers and he has a, a um a book out and a documentary called full, full service so i i use scotty and i use clark gable if clark gable and scotty bowers had a love child it would be ernie <laughs> Perfect. Perfect. I just have a follow-up to ask you, because I know your daughter is also in the show. Is this her debut? I'm not sure. Yes. Yes, Joy. This is her debut as an actress. I couldn't be more thrilled and more proud of her. Her name is Colette McDermott, and she is wonderful on the show. And I have been working with her and guiding her, and this is our first... Uh, 
you know, adventure together. And Ryan was so kind enough to cast her, and she's getting a lot of attention, and I think she's going to be a big star. Couldn't be more proud. That is a wonderful thing. Proud dad. Got to love it. Yes, Thank you, Dylan McDermott. Hollywood is streaming on Netflix right now.